So our next lesson is about orthogonal trajectories. What does the word orthogonal mean? Do you remember? Perpendicular. So orthogonal trajectories are in fact curves that are perpendicular to one another. This is used in the field of physics in many different areas. In thermodynamics, um, curves that have the same temperature, so isotherms, would be orthogonal or perpendicular to the flow of heat. Um, in electrostatic fields, uh, those fields, the force, the line of force in that field would be perpendicular to a line of constant potential. So in this lesson we're going to find orthogonal trajectory um, slopes. We're going to determine whether two curves are orthogonal to one another or not. In order to do that um, and talk about perpendicularness, we need to talk about slope. To find slope, we're going to be using a derivative. And if the curves are orthogonal to one another, what will be true about their slopes? That's right, they'll be negative reciprocals of one another. So we're going to be looking at derivatives and seeing whether or not the derivatives of two different functions are negative reciprocals. We also will be finding the slope of an orthogonal trajectory. So here we have a function where x and y are on the same side of the equation. And so we're going to need to do implicit differentiation since the function is defined implicitly. Press pause, implicitly differentiate this function, or not function, equation, and check your work as you go. So if I were to implicitly differentiate, I take the derivative of the first term with respect to x and get 6x squared. And the derivative of the second term, I need to remember that we're taking the derivative with respect to x, and that's why there's this y prime here. Derivative of 3, remember any constants derivative is 0. So if I simplify a little bit and solve for y prime, I get, neg I get 6x squared over 12y squared, but can simplify that down to x squared over 2y squared. So this is the slope of my original curve. How do I find the slope of an orthogonal curve? Orthogonal means perpendicular. So I'm going to have to find the slope that is a negative reciprocal. So my orthogonal slope is the negative reciprocal of my original. And that's it. Nothing terribly new from what we've been doing. Are the following orthogonal or not? How can we check? So what we need to do is find the derivative of both and compare them. We want to see if they are negative reciprocals or not. Press pause and go ahead and find the derivative of each one of these equations and compare them to see if they are negative reciprocals of one another. So here I took the derivative of the first expression. Remember it's implicit, so you do have to have that little y prime in your equation. Same with the second equation. You can rewrite each one of these terms as a power instead of a, of a ra rational expression. And I solve for y prime in each one. Oops, almost there. What would y prime be here? y prime would be negative y squared over x squared. Are they in fact negative reciprocals of one another? Yes. Don't forget to simplify in order to see that they really are negative reciprocals. So are these curves orthogonal to one another? Yes. My answer to the question would be yes, because the slopes are negative reciprocals of one another. Go ahead and practice and find the slope of a curve orthogonal to the one I've given here. Press pause and do the work, then check your answer. 
So here I've taken the derivative implicitly. Don't forget you need power, uh, sorry, product rule. You have uh, two different pieces here that you need to take the derivative of with respect to x. And don't forget about the little 5x or the fact that the derivative of a constant is 0. Sorry. Simplifying a little bit or combining some terms, all I did was multiply these out to get these new terms. And then took this final step and solved for y prime. So if I'm trying to find the orthogonal curve's slope, I need the negative reciprocal of the slope I have here. So here is the slope of an orthogonal curve. Do the same here. Press pause, find the slope of a curve that's orthogonal to the given curve, and then check your work. Again, implicit differentiation is necessary. There is no product rule here, but I do need implicit differentiation, and I do need that y prime or dy dx. I can solve straight away for y prime and simplified it here. My orthogonal curve's slope is the negative reciprocal of the slope I got, and there it is. Are the following curves orthogonal to one another? Here, we need to find the slope of each one of these curves and compare those two slopes. Press pause, find the slope of each curve, compare them to see if they're negative reciprocals of one another. So again, I took the derivative implicitly. I left it in rational form. You don't need to. Here I took the derivative implicitly of the second curve and solved for y prime in each and simplified. They are in fact negative reciprocals of one another. So yes, these two curves are orthogonal. And that's it. So the rest of homework are practice problems about implicit differentiation. You got a little more practice of that here. We'll talk more about orthogonal trajectories for the next two classes. Have a good night.